Welcome to anyone watching, it's Craig over at mysimpit.co.uk and welcome to part two of the front dash build. In this video we'll be looking at the design that will be used for the frame of that front dash. So let's buckle up. So when I built the left console, that wasn't really something that I needed to look online much. It was very straightforward. It was effectively a uh, rectangular shape made out of wood uh, with rails to, to drop all the panels onto. But I do think there's a lot more to the front dash. So I've spent some time looking very carefully at other plans for the A10C that peop other people have shared openly online um, to really try and pick the one that I feel would work best for me. So after looking very carefully, the, the one that just seemed to make the most sense um, is actually one by uh, a chap called Dime Bug. So let's just do a search uh, for that. So Dime Bug. A ten C plans. Okay, so if you just do a search as, as like I have there for Dimebug A ten C plans, you'll get all these search results. So if we go into this just this top one here, takes us over to the ED forums. So we can see the title of the thread: Dimebug Free Stencil. A10C cockpit project. If we jump over to the end of that thread, and you can see some talk about links being broken, but uh, very kindly in post 222 bolts has put the uh, correct link on. So if we download that, there's a download. When you extract that, you'll find there's 14 files within it, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So, Dimebug, I guess, is based over in France. So it might be, and I know I did this myself, is I gave the different parts uh, diff new titles. Um, so therefore, when I was putting them all together, it would be make sense to me which parts I was referring to. So if we create one folder for instructions because this one here is an instructions file that Dimebug kindly put together sort of showing step by step how you put the parts uh, together and then the other 13 are the parts themselves Right then, let's just take a minute to look at the, the instructions that is put together for us. Okay, starts off with a bit of a shopping list of items. But if you look here, th this is really great. Um, and this is why I picked the Dimebug plans. There are other ones online, they're all very good too and very detailed. But of the ones I reviewed, these ones just really made an awful lot of sense and I think that there's something to be said about keeping things simple when you're building something that's quite complex. So you can see the different parts and how they go together. So this was the one I decided to go with. And what a great start it gives you. So it's a good time to give a shout out to Dimebug. Thanks for the plans you've shared online. They're, they're really great. So at this point, I, I gave new titles to them just so they were easily identifiable to myself. So I divided this up into 11 main parts. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So the names for these 11 parts Stick and Fuse Base Fuse Sides, left and right The reason I've, I've used the term Fuse is because I'm aware obviously the circuit breaker panel will sit here which in my mind is obviously the Fuse Board Fuse Fascia this will also have the TISL panel in, but when, again, when I think of this, I think of the circuit breaker panel. Base top. These here, these two base sides. The back. Outer rudder left and right. Outer sides, left and right. Shelf. Main fascia. And top. So I'm now going to number and label them and I'll speed this bit up. At this point we have all of the parts numbered and ordered with new labels on them. Now there were 14 files originally, we took one out which was for the assembly instructions that left 13 but obviously we've said that there's only 11 key parts to it. So the reason that there's more files than there are parts is because three of them all relate to the main fascia. So if we jump over and have a look at these files opened and we can start to click through them now so let's just take a, a minute to just have a quick glance and they've got all of the measurements on and then we get to the point now where there's three files all relating to the main fascia so 10-1 is sort of the outlining key measurements 10-2 starts drawing in some of the individual panels and instruments and 10.3 shows you the profile and the extent to which different bits are raised. Now looking back at the manual for a moment, uh, initially I'm looking to build it through these steps up until this point here where the shelf goes in. So that's my initial focus, build it to this point here and then what I can start to do is start thinking through the particular panels and gauges that I'll be making and then the measurements of those so later down the line I'll produce this bit here and have all the cutouts ready to fit um, the panels that I've made and then the final bit is we pop this top on and then the UFC can sit on top of that so at this stage here it's really all about printing all of these files off and reading them all the way through thoroughly and getting to know them inside out and getting to understand all the parts you're going to be making and then thinking through how you're going to put them together. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.